we know that generally people fear change. They fear the unknown, that their fear of loss is greater than their appreciation of gain. And yet here is this subset of people that go, oh, I don't care about that. So Jeff Bezos talks about how he served, he flipped burgers at, I don't remember where, McDonald's, right? And you love your job and you care about it and you show up to it and you think about what you're doing. To me, that is another, that, that is just as legitimate. Well, I've got a very specific question to ask you. So, so you're talking about pe people that are building their life the way they want their life and breaking new ground. These are the terms that you keep using, which I think are wonderful. I want to know from a psychology point of view, are there, is there a certain subset of people in the world that are just wired this way? Now, we know that generally people fear change. They fear the unknown, that their fear of loss is greater than their appreciation of gain. And yet here is this subset of people that go, oh, I don't care about that. And they challenge the status quo. Well, they go, ah, supposedly okay. they don't care. Okay, tell me, <laughs> That's okay, where tell I come me. in let's, because they care. Ah, okay. Oh, All right. Yeah. Let's unpack that. Let's go. What I mean by that is that they are these very like high profile or kind of like very in your face exemplars of what I actually think all of us within our scope and sort of to the extent of our personal kind of like reach and preferences and you know, capacity is better off doing. Namely, making our own choices at kind of exercising our own judgment about whatever it is we do day to day. And this can apply to you know, like when you're waitressing, you know, by day and going to school by night or, or you know, vice versa. So Jeff Bezos talks about how he served, he flipped burgers at, I don't remember where, McDonald's, right, as a teenager. And you could imagine, you know, not knowing someone's going to become a Jeff Bezos or someone who will never be a Jeff Bezos, but actually is just going to be a really competent, really engaged, really thoughtful customer service person at a you know at a restaurant like there is a way of approaching that work where you're really showing up to it where you're making choices where you notice inefficiencies and you know silly outdated ways of doing things and you replace those you know with a slightly better way right and you love your job and you care about it and you show up to it and you think about what you're doing to me that is another that that is just as legitimate a manifestation of that human ideal as Jeff Bezos you know, founding Amazon, actually. And it's hard in the same ways that it's hard, it's just again, kind of on a smaller scale. But like, there are all kinds of pressures on you to do it the way that your manager has always done it. And you're scared to piss off the manager and maybe they'll fire you. And if you'll, you know, if you get fired, maybe you'll never get another job. And anyway, it's just easier to go with the flow and not rock the boat and you know, and it's easier to keep your mouth shut when someone's treating you a little bit b badly and to not stand up for yourself. And then that becomes a vicious cycle that then leads you to feeling really, really constrained and, you know, kind of disempowered in your personal relationships, right? Like the default is that we struggle with these things. And each of us within our scope, you know, relative to whatever our life projects, I believe each of us has the capacity each of us has that inner internal agency to do differently so so what's the fundamental difference then is it is it is it courage or the you know the desire to act despite the fear what i think that the mechanism for becoming that kind of person kind of what differentiates the people who characteristically engage with life in the way i'm talking about and the people who characteristically don't is precisely that it's character and i don't think that char your character is something you can just you know snap your fingers and overnight you just become super agential and assertive and you know start doing everything your own way and not worrying about what other people think it doesn't work that way which is why you know i work with people often for a fairly long stretch of time to really help them to radically better themselves and there's a whole process to go through in order to do that. But crucially, you can do that. You can change your character. And that's, in a way, that's the currency in which I deal. <laughs> is the currency of character change.